Hey friends, just here to do a quick flip through of my traveler's notebook setup. So I am in this dark green cover. It's like new. I bought it for a planner last year, but mixed up the size. So yeah, we just have a little Pokemon card in there. And this is the, I took an old card and I put um, a sticky on it and put the contents list here. So these are going to be my resource books for my anything about ADHD, parenting, personal growth, and a creative outlet. This is a transform, really old Transformers sticker. So in the first book, I have it ready to go for my ADHD. So I haven't started yet, but um, I any resources, my husband and I both have ADHD. I was diagnosed this year and started medication. So that's been a journey. And this is parenting. So we have a three-year-old and we find ourselves needing to create a uh, bit of a resource, something I can refer back to for those tough moments and already have something in there, <laughs> a book suggestion. And so that will be that. This is my self-development. So this is actually, I started this booklet back in 2022. Um, it's about halfway used. So there's plenty of space left for me to continue and just do my breakdowns and like manifestation type of things. I did a little sketch here a few years back, 2019, and this is the folder that has my creative journal in it. It's um, purely just for sa the safety of just sketching out stuff that doesn't look um, like a finished product. It's just sketching, playing around, testing out markers, um, just expressing myself or manifesting that kind of thing and yeah I haven't been spending enough time doing that so this is the this one is a branded insert this one's a traveler's company this one is the traveler's company the extra thin one it's extra thin so none of it bled but you can see it so it's definitely more of a pencil or creative use um, type of book this this is and just a kind of no name no name insert from amazon this one is a wanderings brand notebook from amazon as is this one yeah just wanted to get on here and show you. Um, I really miss using Traveler's Notebooks. I have two other ones. I have this one. It was my first one um, that I got from S Soliloquy Leather um, a few years back. So it still has my, the last time I used it was 2022. And I was using the undated insert worked really really well and then a journal one which I filled and I did start a collections one but I didn't end up referring to it sadly and then I had a daily log which I really enjoyed doing yeah and lastly I got this guy who I have again also just used a bunch of random times and I was looking back at this and remembering man I think this is so cute and I've been seeing everyone using their smaller size planners it just inspires me to go back and get a grid pocketbook but then I also have to remember that I'm in a bullet journal <laughs> so I'm in my Lloyd's term and I have a YouTube video that I just uploaded going over how what I'm in right now so if you want to check that out you can see get a glimpse into my happy planner that I grabbed for um, family planning basically just 
normal planning in a sense, but it's just for purpose of um, collaborating with my husband and trying to get kind of that sense of um, productivity going for us. Yeah, um, and I also just filled a converter I just got on, got delivered today um, from Amazon. So I filled it with the only ink that I have. <laughs> Hope to get more ink one day. It This is the no Noodler's Ink Polar Black. Um, I highly recommend. There's a local store nearby called Monk, Monk Office, that I can get more because apparently they carry a whole bunch. So I'm going to be looking into that Noodler's Ink. Um, I'd love to get more. Just wanted to pop on here and say hi and do a quick flip and show you my previous traveler's notebooks. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.